So this is a new band from Whippy that is steadily capturing the hearts of Toronto with their soulful and inspiring melodies. This four-piece band is made up of Alex, Amika, Chris, and Jonah. Their music has been described as presenting a fresh view of the human experience, invoking a range of visceral responses. You can also go onto woollyband.ca to check out their live video series called Woolly Wilderness, which perfectly complements the sound of their debut album, Time to Grow. Jonah and Amika are here with me today to share their collective artistic vision with you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. (laughs) Your debut EP, Time to Grow, really is your baby. A lot of elbow grease and love was put into this album, but also into the work of releasing it. You planned and promoted it all yourself. So what's been the hardest part about that process? (laughs) Um, I think the hardest part about that process is that we had a venue booked for our um, our EP launch and (laughs) uh, Jonah's dad was just like looking at their website to be like just looking like who else was playing during the week or something I don't know what why he was on it but he found out that there was another band booked that night and our name wasn't on it (gasps) but this is like a week before our um, EP launch. Oh no! And it's in the middle of the summer on yeah. a Saturday night. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, to find a venue in an, a week is pretty brutal. Yeah. Wow. Um, so that was definitely the most stressful, like, part. We had people flying from like Montreal to come see us. So, wow. And I think the most stressful thing is that if he didn't check that website, we would have brought all our like people <laughs> there and like been ready to like <laughs> debut the CP and just not be able to. So that was definitely the most stressful, but we figured it out. So really definitely tests <laughs> you as a band in a crisis like that, right? Yeah. Let's yeah. go, let's go. Well, each song that we get to hear is beautiful too. They are all so different from each other, but they still have this organic flow as a whole. Which song is your favorite to perform off of Time to Grow? Like collectively or, or is this an individual? Well, as a band, <laughs> what is more fun for you? I think oh. like definitely one of our high points is at least for me is the garden because we get everybody to kind of join in and it has like a nice flow to it uh that that's one that i feel like always is like a good one to end the night that's normally one of our closers i guess it also has like a lot of meaning behind it like it's the first song not the first song that like we wrote together but like that we wrote with like previous people that we used to play music with and like when we wrote that song, it happened like everybody just simultaneously like knew what to play, and that was like the best feeling writing that song because it came together in like ten seconds. It was just this crazy feeling, and I still feel that energy when I play that song. That mm. sense of yes, we can do this, and look how good we are at just <laughs> collaborating, right? As a team, as a band. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, the title of the album is just a s- simply sweet message too time to grow you know was there any other considerations or was it time to grow from the beginning it was it was pretty much time to grow from the beginning the like purpose of this album um for the most part was not to like get rid of songs but those are songs that we made so long ago like i made like the song that we're gonna play at humber uh pink clouds we made that when i was in like grade 10 um just like Mm -hmm. amika and myself and we like went on a tour with one of our friends promoting it like as soon as we graduated or as soon as I graduated. Um, it was called the Pink Clouds Tour. Like it was based yeah. off that song. Yeah, we went out to <laughs> Halifax and all that and in between. Um, and all the songs on it are kind of uh, not first, but like early songs where it's like, we don't have any recordings. Let's get these ones. Let's get our, our oldest songs and kind of like this is our starting point And then we'll grow from there. Mm-hmm. See, what a great message. Yeah. <laughs> that is so great. And why do you think growth is important? <laughs> yeah. That's a big question. Yeah. Like, there's so many reasons. I feel like... Crickets. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's because why it's important. It's just, like, part of life. Like, things change and, um, like, your music changes depending on what you go through. Like, when I listen back to our old songs and listen now to what we're writing like it's interesting to see those themes change Mm. um even though we're the same people we're writing differently and I find that's why like sometimes you find it hard to define our music because it's always changing so I don't know what's like important about I mean it's inevitable yeah 
you just you're going to <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get hit with it whether you like yeah. it or not yeah. well it's really fitting that your first album then is time to grow because then that's your starting point and you're mm-hmm. gonna go only bigger and better from there right hope so yeah <laughs> 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 What would you say is the genre or, you know, style of music that comes out the most in your performances? The the name that we've gone with for a genre is alternative folk. Great. Um, but that's kind of just because it doesn't really mean anything. Because, <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I think we, we do have a range because we have, like, folksy little songs like Pink Clouds and then we have, like, like inventing fire it's yeah like we harder. yeah we have like some some songs that are like almost like math rocky um math so rock. yeah so <laughs> well, can you elaborate a little bit on what math okay rock? math rock myself um and our drummer alex um we used to be actually in a math rock band basically the I- idea of it is it's sort of like alternative but there's a lot of timing changes oh. um, and it's a lot of like odd time signatures um, so math. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I was just picturing someone singing about math. <laughs> we could. Yeah. Two times quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Four? Yeah. Yeah. I, got, I have to get I better got, at math. <laughs> to, to, to do that. Apparently, I need math rock in my life. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me today. Having the talented and ethereal Wooly from Whitby with me today has been an absolute delight. So thank you so much, Amika and Jonah, for joining me and coming in to share your intimate secrets. Time to Grow is the debut album you don't want to miss from this rock, folk, jazz, alternative powerhouse (laughs) that just spins magic. For 96.9 Radio Humber, I'm Heather Williams. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you.